So after two years of waiting, all we get is wireless charging and more talk time. Doesn't seem like much of an upgrade. What's up everyone, Matesh here with Amtech and yes, Apple has been on a tear this week, announcing products left and right. So they started off this week by announcing a refresh to their Mac lineup. They have all new Intel processors, AMD GPU, so pretty nice little update right there. And on Tuesday, they announced a brand new iPad mini. Guys, it has been four years since the iPad mini was updated, so this is amazing. And they also announced a new iPad Air, and that makes me think that they may have too many iPads, but hey, I'm not one to judge having variety is actually pretty nice. And then finally on Wednesday, we got a refresh to the AirPods and this was very much in line with like the Mac updates where nothing really changed except they added a couple new things on the inside to make them a little bit better. And this is, I think, the most disappointing thing. The Mac changes were nice. They're nice to have. Everyone knew that we're not going to come out with a new brand MacBook, but everyone expected that they would come out with a new AirPod design and they did not do it. Now, this is not to say that everyone expected a ton of changes to the new AirPods, but seriously, they did not change how they look at all. The AirPods look the exact same. If somebody put the AirPods second gen in front of you and the first gen, you would not be able to tell the difference except that there is now an LED in the front of the case if you buy the uh, $200 ones which have wireless char charging built into the case. Now as I said, nobody was really expecting a ton of changes because AirPods are already great truly wireless earbuds and they are easily the best selling ones. So Apple didn't want to mess with an already great thing. But it's pretty disappointing when you think the fact that AirPods aren't perfect. They don't have amazing sound quality. They have good sound quality not amazing so definitely they could have improved on the sound quality but they chose not to they just decided to keep everything the same and just release new ones with a new h1 chip so that replaces the w1 chips which will allow for faster pairing which cool but not something that i've heard anybody ever complain about that the airpods pair too slow cool though nonetheless and they give you a little bit more talk time i think about an hour and a half more of talk time which is awesome but i'm surprised that they couldn't also give you more playback time for music or anything like that kind of disappointing. And then finally, something that we would have definitely liked to see is just more color options. They're still just available in the white, which I mean, it's nice. It's just kind of boring. So yeah, overall, Apple has had a ton of announcements this week, but I think the easily the most disappointing one was the AirPods refresh. It's just they didn't do anything. All they did was just add a new chip and make a wirelessly charging case, which you could already buy a third party wirelessly charging case. So if you have AirPods, the first generation, first of all, they actually sell you a wireless charging case if you want it, but it's $80 for that chip case alone. So you already paid 160 for the AirPods, but you're also going to pay 80 more just for the case to wirelessly charge them, which I don't know, it doesn't make any sense to me. You can actually buy a protective case that will wirelessly charge them. I'll have some link down below in the description if you guys want to check them out. But yeah, if you have that first gen case, I definitely say don't buy that second gen wirelessly charging case unless you really want this exact same form factor because it's kind of a ridiculous price they're charging for it. So yeah, overall, that's the announcements from Apple. I'm just a little disappointed. I was expecting more things out of the AirPods announcement, but Eh, that's all we're getting. So let me know, what do you guys think? Is this enough of an upgrade for some of you who are on the fence to consider buying AirPods now? But as always, like this one if you liked it, subscribe if you guys loved it, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!